Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Creators by Samantha and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to blend images together. So let's jump right on in. Uh, so first and foremost, these are the two images that I'm going to show you how to blend. I just chose these two. I want to try and get have this like the city effect, like she's the city girl, girl living in the city, really nice, uh, skin tone with her nice afro blend the two together and i think this is going to look good but i'm going to also probably play around with this a bit more here um, but i just want to show you how this feature works it's in the app section of canva so when you click on apps and you type in blend images or image it should be the first one with the b in the middle that comes up and you're going to click on that and so now what you need to do it's asking you which one is going to be the bottom layer so the base right and that uh will be um this right here right so this is going to be the bottom so the image of the city line is going to go on top of this um this woman here Okay, so she's the top, she's the bottom layer. So we're going to click on, you can choose a file if you have your own, but if if you're going to use one an element picture, you got to find your element first, then place it onto the template, then use the app and click on use select image. So right now that's the preview and I like it and I'm going to leave it as is. So for the next one, which is the top layer, you need to select that image that you want for it to be top, and that's gonna be the city line. And then you're gonna, again, click on use select image. Now, as you can see here, they're showing you what it looks like. And I want her to be a little bit lighter here to, to, to come out more. So there are different types of blend modes that you can play around with here. But for me, I find that works well. Well, at least with this image will be um, a light in tone. Um, so there we go. So I'm going to, I like that. I'm going to leave that as is. And if I'm happy, then I'm going to hit add to design. And let me, let me, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to put this on another page here. So I'm going to add to design and I'm going to blow this up here and there's so many things too like if for instance she's got a neutral background here but if you didn't want the background you could you would first click select background remover to remove it then go in and start doing your layering because once you hit add to design you can't change anything other than the coloring and the um, adjustments of the different tones and textures and balance and um, filters, effects, and all that stuff you can use, right? But the background image, if you try to use that, I'll show you, it doesn't take away the black, uh, the, the, the white in the background. Well, maybe it does. Oh, well, what do you know? I thought it wasn't gonna do it, but it does, okay, well. I guess you could leave it as is you could you could that actually looks quite good i mean either or when you look at this one here the original it looks just as good as when you remove the background Let, let's see this if i hit if i go backwards and if i blow this up some more here all the way to the top yeah i mean it looks really good i like it like that but I want to try something else here too. So I'm going to just duplicate this image and I'm going to bring it actually. Yeah. And I'm going to, I'm not going to duplicate it. Just go back. Here we go. And I'm going to take this image of the skyline, bring it down here to page two. We could close this right now. And I want to make this as the background image. So I'm going to set it as the image background. All right, here we go. Now, this is where I'm going to need to use the background remover now. So let's click on that. Yeah. Okay. So now we've got the, I want to try and make her blend in with the background here. So if I make her bigger, slide her over a bit. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, like that. 
I mean, that don't look too bad. I mean, she's really transparent. So let's see if I, if I go and change this coloring because it's saying she's this like purplish color here. So let's try and use like a, let's see what black looks like. Oh, that's not bad. I like, I like. Let's go with her her tone, her natural tone texture. I like this black one. Let's see what the brown one looks like. Nah, that's not bad either. I'm curious to know what a, a light color looks like. Okay, all right, not bad. No, I'm feeling this black color here. Oh, that's, is this black? No, it's a, it's a Creole, it's a Creole it says. Okay, this is nice, but this is, it, I like this. I would literally leave it like this. I love the blending in um, and the layering as well. This is really good. So that's pretty much what the blend image uh, app does. I love it. I love it. Um you could also, like I said, play around with these different types of tones. But I personally, like you see what it does if you do color burn or you go darken or you go multiply, like saturation here. I don't feel like there's need. I mean, that one's not bad. I don't know. But for me, the lighten mode, I like the best. It just, it works well. Um, and there's so many things you could do with this, right? It's just so, so cool. Anywho, I really hope you like this quick tutorial. Uh, and if you have any questions based on what I did here, your stump on something, leave your comments down below because I do read and reply. And also like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care. Stay blessed. See you soon.